All right, so let's check it out. I'm just going to put on some random camos and give my thoughts on the process and kind of where I'm at. <clears throat> so I first got my um, mastery camo in Black Ops 4. And I had uh, retired from games for a long time. And there we go. And I got the mastery camo halfway into its shelf life. That was Black Ops 4. And then I went on to uh, Modern Warfare 2019. And didn't quite finish the, the Damascus. I, I didn't think it was that cool. I still regret not finishing that camo. Maybe at some point I'll um, go back to, to do it. But then I really started grinding again on the... Uh, from Black Ops Cold War. I got the Mastery camo there and the Zombie camo. I couldn't quite get the Zombie camo in Black Ops 4 because of the uh, DLC weapons. You had to have all the DLC weapons and you had to like pay for them through weapon crates and stuff. So I wasn't able to get the the dark matter there, unfortunately, for uh, zombies. But it was uh, still so pretty much a, a grind uh, regardless. And that was fun. Black Ops Cold War, I, I think, was very challenging. I got that done. And... Then we moved to Vanguard, got the uh, Vanguard finished um, as well, the, the Atomic Camo as well as the Zombie Camo. And it has a little glitch there and finished that. And then now I have this one. So I believe this is my fourth one of uh, completing all the Mastery Camos. It originally started, my first Call of Duty experience was... Uh, um, Finest Hour, the uh, Call of Duty was 2003, I didn't have uh, game games then, a uh, console, so my friend Will would come and we would kind of uh, duke it out in multiplayer, and that was fun, but then I didn't play COD again until about Modern Warfare 2. So Modern Warfare 2, and I, I don't think there was, um, my memory serves me, it was just like the fall camo on the weapons. I don't think there was a true mastery camo. But yeah, I, I played uh, that, and then after Modern Warfare 2, I played Modern Warfare 3. And then after Modern Warfare 3, that's when I stopped all the way until Black Ops 1. So then I played Black Ops 1. I really, really enjoyed the multiplayer in that game, Black Ops 1. And then I stopped again. And then I played, it was after Black Ops 1. I didn't play again till Black Ops 4. And then uh, Modern Warfare 2019. And then I've been playing the game straight through since, uh, I believe Black Ops 4. So that's where, where I was at right now. This is my fourth Mastery Camo. And my thoughts on this grind. Well, I think it's definitely a grind, but I don't think that, that the challenges were as difficult as the previous games, especially in Black Ops, Black Ops 4. I don't think so. There's some annoying challenge. Uh, I mean, once you get through the overall launchers, these guys, once you get through these guys for the, um, for getting platinum because of the, the stupid glitches and the polyatomic challenges, I mean, you're pretty much set for the rest of the game. I think the overall process of getting these camos has been easy, but I, I also feel like it's been time consuming, very tedious. I would say, I, but I think this is the easiest we've done. I mean, you, look at it. I mean, you're getting three kills without dying 10 times. I mean, the standard was five before, but I think with the time to kill and everything, I, I think, um, kind of balance that out to getting three kills without dying. 
It's very interesting to have all the platinum challenges as uh, long shots and then the polyatomic headshots. So I think the most time consuming challenge overall was the platinum challenges because I burned through these headshot challenges. And I also think that what takes the most time in this game is just the overall leveling up of the guns. That's why a lot of people were using gun exploits. But I mean, if you think about it, any type of exploitation to get get the camos and get stuff done is going to water down your achievement. It's just going to water it down. So um, every time that I, I've done these camo challenges, I haven't done any exploits. I've been on console, non-reverse boosting. And yeah, that's weird. It's not previewing. Huh. That reverse boosting, not any type of boosting, and get going through these challenges legitly. And I think that's the best way to to go about it, is to go through these challenges legitly without um, any uh, type of tampering, because it waters down the achievement. I don't care what anybody says, it's, it's cheating. So let's take a look at... Um, how long this took me so we have uh, stats here so we go to so it took me seven days to complete it at a 0.94 kd i mean man doing the chat the launchers and a lot a lot of these things like that it was very like a lot of deaths man a lot of deaths but i think as far as far as the overall time was concerned it's very re respectable and if you see the breakdown here invasion 187 games to level every single weapon up to max level and then played the uh, playlist so they gave me domination hardpoint team deathmatch kill confirmed in the shoot house and you see my kd for the shoot house 1.33 this is when i actually started doing the the three kills without dying and everything else like that. And, you know, I'm running around in invasion with a knife, leveling it up and, you know, different things like that where you're just at a disadvantage. But if you get through and get, get a lot of kills that game, doesn't matter how many deaths you get, the, the gun is going to level up very, very quickly. So invasion is the best game mode for that, for leveling up very, very quickly. And, I don't really care too much about the kill death ratio here because you know i'm not trying to be a professional multiplayer player i i enjoy more warzone and i don't start playing warzone until the mastery camos are finished so that's kind of um my tradition of, of things that i do so what I'm saying is, if you're doing gun exploits and, and stuff like that, I think it waters down the achievement. I think it's cheap. And even worse, if you're but using unlocker tools or hacks to get to get the camo, it's like, you know, to me, it's like like Mjolnir. You know what I mean? You, you would not be chosen. You would not be worthy of having the camo. And that's what I think. So I think I, I am... One of, one of the first, if not the first, console player to get through these challenges legit, legitimately. And everybody in my lobby hasn't even had Polyatomic. And I'm going through skill-based matchmaking. Like I said, I'm not doing any type of reverse boosting uh, because I think that's cheap. And all that stuff really upsets me, to be honest. And, and uh, because you have to work for it. You have to achieve it. You have to go through the grind. You have to be in the trenches. And if you're not in the trenches, um, well, I mean, I don't I don't respect your achievement. And that's just the bottom line. You, you have to be worthy. You have to go through it and do it, do it properly. And <clears throat> I think that's more of a generational thing that, that I see things. You know, I'm kind of kind of more old school in that way where kind of have to go through the grind and you know develop your skills and go through the skills to you know it helps you understand the game helps you get better at the game where but everybody wants you know that instant gratification everybody complains and 
it's you know that that's that's not the way of the Viking, you know, that is not it. So I think it's more of a generational thing where I see more more time and time again where everybody just wants the, this camo for for example, but not willing to really put in the work for it. And I think you should get what you what you put in, whether it's your business, whether it's your job, whether it's something you know like 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 gun camos or practicing guitar, piano, any of those things that you have to sit down and grind it out and get develop your skills and not have everything else revolve around you that can make those circumstances easier for you to achieve those things. You know, you, you have to work and develop the skills in order to, you know, get, um, really get better at, at what, what it is that you're trying to do, master your craft and actually <clears throat> develop the appreciation for other people that are going through it. So if you're going through this grind on, on the, on these camos, uh, definitely, you know, my, my hat goes off to you. I try to help you guys in the, in the, in the comment section of my YouTube and give you guys the, the, the best advice I can to help you get through these quickly because it is very, very time consuming. Which I showed you on my gameplay, it took seven days to do this legitimately. And I try to try to give you guys the best strategies of what I've learned to get through these um, very quickly. Uh, you know, it's reasonably quickly. So uh, you know the, 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 that is my thoughts on that. We're gonna go 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 through these launchers here. The, the, the that is my overall thoughts on, on the achievement. So yeah, I do think I'm I'm, I'm one of one of the first to get this uh, legitimately. I think I was one of the first in for the atomic camo and Vanguard to do it legitimately. And. Definitely in Black Ops Cold War, I, I know for a fact that I was I was up there as well, and I'm talking about not the first one, dude. You know, to unlock it per se, but I think I'm one one of the first to, at least in that group, to unlock things, legitimately. And that is what I have to say about that. And I hope you guys like this video. You know, drop down below in the comments um, how, how you guys are feeling about unlocker tools and reverse boosting, boosting to unlock these achievements. Do you think it waters down the achievements? Let me know how you guys are doing and how I can help you guys in any way to help, help you guys get through these challenges. And what is next? is for me i'm going to be doing the uh the bat <clears throat> the victus xmr or i kind of started doing the the bass p a little bit so i want to want to get these the, those three weapons gold and then um start jumping into wars i'm waiting for my buddy to finish his so we can jump into wars on together and get on a clapping spree drop the hammer on everybody so i hope you guys like this video appreciated the video um smash a like smash a sub and hit the bell for the notifications and i'll catch you guys in the next video horns up and skull